Hello, today I'm bringing you such a fun video. Yes, we are going to play with henna. Let me tell you that this company sent me this kit and the box is just super cute. And inside the box, you're gonna find this little, it's not a cami, but you know, it's to cover what's not supposed to be seen in case you want to apply some art on your body, you have your cover up. You're also going to find the henna paste. And of course, you also find your instructions. And in addition to that, you're gonna find many designs that you can pick and choose for your body. You have big ones, you have small ones, and uh, it is super fun. Do not forget that henna is not, um, is not to be meant to be permanent, okay? That's what makes it fun. You can always change it up, and it's not gonna be bad for your skin. Now it is time for me to show you how to use it. The first thing that I'm going to do is to pick the design that I will be working with. And I decided to choose this one, it's called Blossom. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my forearm. You wanna make sure that there are no lotions or oils on your skin. So prior, I washed that area with soap and water. And of course I dried it out and then I decided to use gloves because I do have my nails and I didn't want my nails to get stained. Right after that I'm gonna go ahead and take out the needle that you see in the tube and uh, practically what you want to do is just take it out carefully. I put it back in the baggie. Right after that I decided to cut out a little piece of the henna tube just so I had more more of the henna flow and I could and I could work with it better. So now I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze the tube. You wanna make sure that you do put enough product. And here I just wanna have fun. I wanna make sure that those areas where I want the stencil to, to be, if you will, I wanna make sure that there is enough henna, okay? So I'm gonna be going back and forth, putting a thick amount, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the spatula to make sure that everything is where it needs to be. After that, you're gonna make sure you're in a comfortable position, sit still, and let the paste dry. Leave sticker and henna on for at least two hours for good color. So I did do the two hours, you can do longer than that. Step number four, you're gonna peel out the sticker and remove dried paste, apply coconut oil, and use paper towel to help rub off. And very important guys, do not use water. The last step is to use coconut oil, and that is to moisturize and protect from water exposure. For best results, avoid washing tattoo area for five hours after paste removal. This is what we have so far right after cleaning or taking off that paste. And you can see it, you can do see it, but after you wait 24 hours later, it does get darker. So this is what I have now. I did this yesterday and it was super fun to do. I went ahead and applied a little bit of glitter and oof, I like it even more. Anyhow, I will be leaving all the information from the company and also the link. I hope that you like this video and like always, I will see you next time. Hasta la vista. Adios.